I'm James McGuire, and on today's video, we're talking about agentic AI. We'll look at some of the enormous possibilities offered by this AI technology, along with some of the most common use cases and some key challenges to consider when implementing agentic AI. To discuss that, I'm joined by a major industry expert. With me is Anurag Saxena, General Manager and Global Head of Alliances and Industry Solutions at UST. Anurag, really good to have you with us today. Absolutely. Pleasure to be here. Thank you for having me. All right. So most people are familiar with tools like ChatGPT, but can you explain how agentic AI is different than what we all know is the query and response model of a tool like ChatGPT? Absolutely, James. Uh, agentic AI is a form of artificial intelligence designed to operate with a degree of independence, adapting to various tasks and environment with minimal human oversight. And that's where the difference is, right? So an agentic AI is different from a chat GPT as it exhibits more autonomous and goal-driven behavior. Uh, chat GPT systems are reactive in nature. And where there's limited interaction, uh, the scope also gets more limited, right? So with each query resets with the context unless explicitly maintained by the system or the session, right? So these systems actually lack decision-making capabilities and they just don't prioritize on task and reason about how to achieve goals autonomously. Whereas an agentic AI is proactive and can handle complex scenarios requiring independent judgment and execution. So. Mm -hmm. Agentic AI learns from its environment, can draw on past experiences, and even pursues goals without continuous user intervention. Mm -hmm. So, go ahead. Right, I think it, it, it clearly it, it is a far more advanced technology, but please, please go ahead. Yeah, I mean, you know, instead of passively responding to queries, Agentic AI actively seeks solutions, manages workflows, and adapts its action to the changing environment. So while users may set high level goals, the AI or the agentic AI takes initiative deciding the best course of action and autonomously performing subtasks. That is essentially the difference between the chat GPT and the agentic AI. Well, certainly agentic AI is generating a lot of buzz, a lot of headlines. I mean, why is agentic AI the next big thing for business process automation? So before I delve into why Agentica is the next big thing, I would like to make you and the viewers aware of certain micro cycles that have evolved over the past 24 months. And that has got us to the evolution of Agentic AI. The first of the micro cycles uh, was prompt engineering. The process of crafting and refining input prompts to optimize AI outputs for specific tasks. That was the first microcycle, prompt engineering. The second microcycle was the RAG, as they call it, retrieval augmented generation. That was the next microcycle that evolved, right, in the past 24 months that has got to agentic AI again. What is RAG or retrieval augmented generation. That's a technique where AI model retrieves relevant data from external sources to enhance and inform its generated response. So that's the second one. And the last microcycle that took place is the agentic workflow, where the AI systems are designed to autonomously perform tasks, make decisions, and act as independent agents in this ever so dynamic or changing environments. So those were the evolution or the microcycles that occurred before agentic AI came to bear. So the characteristics of an agentic AI of autonomy, learning and adapting, goal-driven, all of these behaviors at a real-time decision-making all lead to tangible business values. Most commonly, these values are seen in to increase efficiencies to reduce costs and increase accuracy. So that's why this is the really the next big thing, right? I mean, 
for example, in a healthcare world, a uh, rack can assist doctors by retrieving latest research and medical information, helping them make better decisions. Better decisions, better informed decisions. Some of the other real world examples are question querying systems, enhanced search engines, document processing and summarization, and so on and so forth. So these are definitely, definitely a better uh, uh, evolved technologies that we are looking at. Did I answer your question? It, it really does. I mean, it's it offers a lot more efficiency and innovation. And I, I think a business is really want to get on board with Agentic AI, but they're not sure the exact best way to use it. So what are the most promising use cases or applications for AI-powered intelligent automation? So let's look at the enormous potential opportunity that it, this Agentic AI and Gen AI have, are bringing us, right? Just in the past 12 months, there have been 1 billion use cases. Hmm that have been generated from Agentic AI, 1 billion use cases in the past 12 months. The size of the market for the software, the Agentic software is $4 billion today. That will generate an additional $15 billion of revenue for service providers in by 2028. Hmm. And the last one, I think you really like this one, is it's the number one Google result that is being researched today. I mean, so when a guy goes in and puts Agentic AI, that's what is being researched today by far, right? So that, That's the number one search term, you say? Yep, that's wow. the number one search term. I did not know that, okay. So, so what, so... Coming back to your question, right? You know, what are the promising use cases and why is it being so researched so much is because it's generating so much of interest. Uh, you know, it, it, it presents itself in all sorts of industries, right? In the finance industry, you could have autonomous trading bots that analyze financial markets in real time, assess risks and execute trades. All this without human oversight. I'll take manufacturing supply chains, control production workflows, or even troubleshoot machinery issues, all done autonomously. So it not only reduces downtime, but also improves on efficiency. It's proactively looking out for those issues in those machineries, right? So it's, it's, it's not reactive anymore. And the one that is really used a lot in, in today's world is the virtual customer service agents that can hold conversations, resolve customer issues, escalate complex cases, and even, you know, update tickets, trouble tickets uh, for, for clients. So very much used in the customer support scenario, used very much in the retail world, in the retail industry. I mean, HR workflows are also very rampantly using the uh, agentic AI, uh, you know, such as shortlisting candidates for recruitment, aligning job descriptions with skill sets or facilitating new employee onboarding processes, so on and so forth. I mean, you name it, you name the industry and you will have a use case, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, you would, it'll be hard to imagine if I'm looking at art and entertainment where I have several use cases, mm -hmm. right? We already discussed about the healthcare and the medical Im uh, imaging industry, drug discovery, design and fashion, video game developments, code review, code test, software code, I meant, uh, you know, financial modeling and simulation, architecture, manufacturing. There could be a gazillion use cases, and we've already said that there are already a billion of them. Mm -hmm. So hope I was able to answer that question for it you. Definitely. But I think the, the real question now that many businesses are wondering is that so many advantages, but what about risks and challenges? I mean, what risks do we need to consider when implementing agentic AI? Yes. Yeah, so, you know, with every good thing, there always is something that we need to counter and always be aware of that there is there are issues. Uh, the good news is uh, that we are aware of those issues. So we are aware of the risks. 
So agentic AI offers great efficiencies in complex dynamic environments, but introduces challenges. What are these challenges around ethical concerns? What is ethical concern, right? The potential for misuse is significant. Generative AI can create deep fakes, realistic but fake content that can be used for misinformation, fraud, and malicious activities. So that's one that we are aware of. Bias and fairness. AI models can inadvertently perpetuate biases present in their training data, leading to outputs that reinforce stereotypes or unfair practices. Addressing these biases is a significant challenge going ahead. The third one is quality control. While generative AI can produce impressive outputs, it can also generate content that is inaccurate, nonsensical, and inappropriate. Fourth, the intellectual property issue is huge, right? These are unresolved questions around ownership and copyright of AI-generated content. Determining who owns the rights to creation made by AI can be legally and ethically complex. Resource intensive, right? Training and deploying generative AI models require significant computational resources and energy, and they contribute to environmental concerns, right? The carbon footprint of large AI models is a growing issue. So, you know, we are aware of these issues. Clearly, the enterprises would need to take into consideration the above and to mitigate and clearly establish clear paths of escalation for human experts to maintain collaboration and oversight. Mm -hmm. Enterprises will also need to implement strict data governance frameworks and models, right, to overcome some of these challenges and risks. But for as we know about them and as we are aware about them, I'm sure we'll come to certain solutions in the near future. Mm -hmm. All right, I think you said it. It's a lot of good insight. Thank you so much for sharing your expertise today. I appreciate it. Thank you. Pleasure here. Thank you. Have a good one.